evening everybody, it's Melanie. I wanted to do a video today on how the carnivore diet cured my keratosis pilaris. Yeah, big word. Uh, keratosis pilaris, also known as chicken bump skin or chicken skin. Um, I think I've also heard it called strawberry skin, whatever. It's ugly, it's awful, and I'm going to tell you how I fixed mine. Um, I had been diagnosed with KP, which is a shortened version of keratosis pilaris. I was diagnosed in about 2001, but I know I've had it for years before that. Um, I spent, hmm, I don't know if I know an actual number on how much money I have spent to try and get rid of this keratosis pilaris. Uh, and mine was mostly on the backs of my arms, all through here, all through here. No, I just got my flu shot, by the way. Whatever. Um, and then mine was on my upper thighs and all along my butt, um, like where you would sit, like that, that portion of my bottom. Real rough and bumpy and red and gross. And anyway, um, the KP that you could see the most was on the backs of the arms, which bothered me. Um, I never wore sleeveless stuff and I actually ended up spending about $5,000 on a Fraxel laser treatment, several Fraxel, Fraxel laser treatments. If you don't know what Fraxel is, Google it. It's a super high powered laser and it works wonders. Like it really does. But I mean, it basically burns off the first few layers of your skin and it is an extremely painful procedure like everything else cost a whole lot of money uh you your skin basically looks like raw you know raw burnt skin and then all of a sudden a couple days later it's just all filled with just pus filled blisters and then they all just pop and then it scabs over and then it falls off, you know, really great. Uh, and that only improved the look of the scarring and the, the bumpiness texture. I would say it improved it about 50%. Yeah, I know, 50%. That's not much for spending that amount of money. Anyway, I had always wanted to get Fraxel done and I was able to fortunately buy it, pay for it um, after working and saving up my money. Uh, anyway, you know, a few years pass and I get pregnant for the second time and my keratosis pilaris was so bad during my pregnancy that I couldn't even shave my legs. Like they would just, it was the most painful feeling to just shave over top of just irritated, bumpy, nasty skin. So I had to like stop shaving. Uh, and it was one of those things where they're like, oh, you know, it's something to do with however, whatever your body's going through while you're pregnant, you know, whatever. Um, anyway, that was my absolute worst point. Uh, fast forward a few months. I start this crazy carnivore diet in February of 2021. Yeah. And guess what goes away when I start really, really doing this diet to a T. Yeah, my keratosis pilaris dried up, scabbed up, fell off, gone. It's just skin there now. It's just fresh skin. Um, I went carnivore, I cut out all dairy. Some people that do carnivore still allow things like heavy cream, not me. Um, it is completely gone and I would have given anything to know that dairy was probably my number one enemy and I was just consuming 
boatloads of cheese and heavy cream. And I'm like, oh, it's keto. It's, it's fine. There's no carbs. Girl, there is something to be said when you're eating a damn bucket of cheese every day, you know, and it's just not good for you. It's not. And if you have keratosis pilaris, you know what I'm talking about when I say it looks like crap and you don't want anybody to see your skin. And I just thought something is off. Maybe I'm, you know, maybe I have a vitamin deficiency or you know, I've had blood work done a thousand times, and it's always been, I'm very fortunate to say this, my blood work has always come back wonderful. But that's always a difficult thing, because then I can't figure out what the hell is going on with my skin. Because um, I did another video about my tumid lupus, which is a, a lupus, a, a form of lupus that only affects the skin. I had a huge rash on my back. I had blisters. Um... But anyway, that's in a different video that I did previously. And today I just really want to focus on the keratosis polaris or chicken bump skin. Because I see a lot of people out there that have it. And I see children with it. My own child has it. Um, we are slowly trying to transition my oldest daughter off of the standard American diet. Good grief, it is hard. It is not easy. Uh, so we're not going for perfection or anything. We're just trying to cut the carbs, cut the processed, you know, the processed garbage out of her diet very slowly. But she's a human and she goes to school and they feed her whatever they want there. And I let her do it because then I think, well, when she comes home, I'm going to feed her something really good. And that's just, that's how I'm working it right now. But when you know I, I have noticed that she does have it and she's only six so uh, you know this is from birth you can have this can this skin condition um anyway i hope that this video helps at least one person out there uh this is what worked for me i'm not saying that this is exactly what's going to work for you but i can say that I bet it would help at least 50%. I mean, come on. Now, giving up cheese, that's a whole other beast. I don't wish that upon anybody. When I was going through my carb withdrawal, holy hell, I just hung tight onto that cheese, you know? Like, well, I got my cheese at least. I can deal with it if I got cheese. And Lord knows I was eating nothing but string cheese and cheese squares and you know, cheese whiz and cheese dip all over everything. Good grief, what is wrong with me? I wish somebody would have like just slapped me, but like, what the hell are you doing? Stop. Good grief. Anyway, I could get really mad about my, you know, I can get mad about everything I used to do, or I can just say, no, I've learned better and now I'm gonna help other people. So that's my mission. Anyway. Um, but comment below if you have keratosis pilaris and if you have noticed a huge change since going carnivore, I would love to hear other people, you know, other success stories. Or if it wasn't the carnivore diet, what did help you? Um, you know, was it going nut free? Was it going, um, you know, dairy free completely, whatever. I, I want to hear about it uh, because, you know, we're all here to help each other. And if, you know, one story can change somebody's life, then that's amazing. So anyway, yeah, I hope everybody's having a good day out there. And uh, I will be back with another video on something else that carnivore diet cured in my life. <laughs>